So we've talked a lot about the concept. I've still got to go through the, the concept of end homes. But before I do that, I thought I'd give you a few more real examples. So the first one um, that I did was really for my handbag, which sounds like nothing, but I do love handbags. So I've got quite a lot and I like to change them out. Um, so, you know, you want to have your bag for life in there, your umbrella, your this, your that. And what I found was basically I'd get in what I would do is I would put my handbag on one of these chairs, then by Tuesday or Wednesday there was another handbag on the chair, and then I couldn't find my keys, whatever. So that was one of the first things I did actually, and it just helped, that alone helped a lot. So what I did instead was, um, got this basket in my um, kitchen, kitchen shelf here, and this is my handbag basket. So you can see, not Pinterest perfect, but does the job. I've got four bags in there at the moment. Um, probably I should get rid of one of those in there. Um, but when I come in, the handbag doesn't even go sit down on any surface. It goes straight into here um, and stays there till I need it next. Um, it means that if I want to change my handbag, I can pull, pull out this basket, you know, swap things over, and any of that other handbag debris that I don't need all the time, like sunglasses or, you know, umbrella or whatever else, stays in that basket. So I know if I can't find some handbag-related thing, it's going to be in there. So that's my handbag end home. And I use in one move my handbag from there. It never, ever now touches any other surface in the house. And... You know, this shelf is divided and conquered into different areas. I'll talk more about that later. This shelf, before my serenely sorted method, was completely covered in piles of stuff all the time. But now, I really feel it's serenely sorted. Thank you.